<laughs> Good afternoon, yarn tubers. Welcome back to Wanderlust Crochet with Dana and Dooley. I don't know what happened with this. Um, I did this video. I did this video once, but so I think when when I knocked you guys off the uh, the little makeshift stand I've got there, <laughs> it stopped recording. Okay, so I've made a final decision on project number 10. Let's see if I can get things untangled here. But uh, I I was watching Daisy Farm crafts and you know she does that gingham plaid buffalo check kind of stuff and I was watching her do um, one of the swatches and she was doing it in that crinkle stitch the lemon peel the she calls it the griddle Selena Baca calls it the woven where basically you start it's single double single double all the way across the row. You start with a single crochet and it ends with a double crochet, just alternating all the way across. And then the next row coming back is offset. Anyway, and I'm making, and I thought I was watching her make that swatch for that blanket. And I'll, I'll link that in the description box. I was watching her make that swatch and I thought that would make a cool dishcloth. So I, that night, I ran to Bymart. Uh, I actually got to go, um, I ran home that night. I dropped the trailer in the Napa yard and I bobtailed to the house so that I could get some of my mail. But I made a little pit, no side stop at Bymart and I got these three colors of um, cotton yarn. This is a sea breeze, a white, and this like pale blue. And I just cut holes in these plastic bags and I throw them on the floor and I get them all untangled here um, when I go to start again. And um, I carry the yarn. It's it's really a cool, cool thing. I have watched her videos over the years and it's always been in my mind that I wanted to try this. Um, this kind of project. These gingham you know plaid kind of so I got this you know I got these blues you know blue and white and I also got this one with a darker blue and this variegated and a white and the only yellow they had was this variegated yellow and I got a white so next time I'll be home in less than a week and I'll get they should have a yellow in that will work with this now the thing is the tenth project isn't necessarily the blue or the yellow or this blue it's going to be purple and I'm going to make two dishcloths and I'm going to do two pot holders <laughs> do it using this technique and uh, so this gal is um i think it would be cool with a, a purple a lavender and a gray but i think she would like it better with a purple a lavender and a white um so yeah that's what I'm going to do for this gal, this beautiful young lady who just got engaged recently there um, where I live in Idaho. And I thought, well, wouldn't it be cool if, you know, I made her something special in a kitchen set? And this is what I came up with. I might do this and I might do, you know, the crocheted sponge. Um... One of these days I'll do a tutorial on that crocheted sponge. It's pretty cool. But, uh, of course, it's all got to be done in the purple, in a purple gingham. <laughs> so what do you guys think? I mean, isn't that a fun idea? And it's a nice little distraction from Aunt Martha's blanket. But I need to work really, I would really like to get that done. Um... It'd be really ambitious to try to get it done by February because we're already 
we're at the 14th. So I can shoot for February, but I think by Valentine's Day. If I really push, I can get that done by Valentine's Day. But today, I'm gonna work on my gingham dishcloth and maybe start on the pot holder. And I'll show you that pot holder when it's done. I don't know how far I'll get. Cause I'm gonna eat on <clears throat> my chicken thighs that I cooked in my new Chefman air fryer. <sighs> nice nice it, that is a nice oven i really like it and i'm gonna crochet and i'm gonna watch criminal minds now i'm in season 13 and for those of you who have binge watched all of criminal minds am i the only one who gets all misty eyed when derek comes out of retirement to come have a heart-to-heart -heart talk with Penelope. Oh, baby girl. Oh. <laughs> ha! I, I get teared up just thinking about it. You know, for a fictional character, whoever wrote him wrote like the perfect man. Now, I don't get all gushy and stupid, you know. Oh, he's so... He's so hot. No, I don't do that. But it's like somebody did a really good job writing that character, right? He he was, uh, I do really like that fictional character. He's great. Uh, uh, and he comes back and he helps her. Ah! <laughs> yeah, so got to binge watch some more of Criminal Minds right now. How many of you know what I'm talking about even? So, Dooley and I, I mean, we started out, where do we start out? At the Napa Yard in Idaho. Napa's just west of Boise. And we only had like eight hours and 20 minutes total on our big clock. So, here we are in Green River, Wyoming. I've never been at this brand new Loves. Brand new Loves on the west end of Green River. Um... It was pretty easy to find a parking spot. Of course, it was just a little after 3 in the afternoon. Should be able to find a parking spot by 3 in the afternoon. So, we're going to we're going to just hang out. I got eight, 8 8 hours and 34 minutes coming back at midnight. So, I'll get up at 5 and drink my coffee and feed the dog and get my vitamins all set up for the day and read my chapter and walk the walk Walk the poopster. Walk the poopster. Mwah. <laughs> Mwah. Yeah. So that's what's going on here. So tell me what you think about the plaid. What do you think about this? It, well, it's more like gingham. Say, I love you guys. Bye.